welcome back. Or should I say, I'm welcomed back. It's been a little while, folks. It's a little better than 6 p.m. This uh, beautiful October 3rd fall evening. Let's do a little cheers to you. I've been lacking in this department. Some would say maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, from somebody that's got all the answers, <clears throat> Sometimes we need to take a little break. A little break from what's considered normal in our daily, weekly, and even monthly regiment. <coughs> and that's exactly what I did. Uh, oh, everything's fine. It's good. It'll always be good. That's the way I choose to make it. Just uh, took a little break. Hell, I think it's been, what, almost three weeks since the video. Um, I know a lot of you has reached out, and I, I appreciate that, actually. That, that was pretty feel-good. A lot of you's reached out. Hey, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Just needed a little break. A little break from uh, certain uh, certain ordeals. Um, I said a uh, hundred times this, this YouTube channel here, this corny little channel that I run, <laughs> is, uh, man, I know how ignorant this sounds, but it, it, it's for me. I know how rude that sounded, I know. And it's it's about having fun and when having fun. Uh, the last three weeks or so, two and a half weeks, has been an absolute bear. This entire spring and summer has been a bear. Uh, I've got a lot of extra stuff going on these days. <laughs> Uh, you know, work related and everything else that acquire my attention and uh, just a little, yeah, sometimes things are a little hard to keep up, especially if you're working for a living. <coughs> We're not going to go down that road. So anyway, yeah, things are good. Um, I'm going to show you exactly what the heck I'm doing here in this uh, somewhat... Uh, uh, frost uh, killed uh my words are all over the place frost killed corn it's just the leaves the corn's actually fantastic but uh yeah went on a little break uh got a bunch of things done uh harvest is over here's the deal i'm making this video now as a hello folks i'm back uh truth of the matter is i've got about four or five i don't think six and only four or five um, videos that I made here in the last two and a half, three weeks of uh, some of the stuff I've been been up to. I can tell you right now, harvest season is over. Uh, it ended by 2.30 p.m. today. By wrapping uh, the, la the second crop sorghum which was a uh, which was a disaster uh, a lot of disasters this year uh, hasn't been a very fruitful year I can tell you that with uh, with old mother nature she threw a 30-day drought at us and I I, I want to say almost the absolute wrong timing if you can make that make sense um, she it, it's it's been a tough year tough year Pretty hard to keep the old attitude in check. Now, if you were to ask me, Mr. Know-it-all, that's about one of the most damn important things that a person can do. I learned that at a very young age and continued to learn it for years and years and years. Attitude. Well, I damn near lost my attitude. Well, I'm prone to get a little angry once in a while, and it's it's been trying. Um, a lot of failed crops this year. Uh, I'm about 25%, 20% shy on feed. We're going to get in all this. I owe you so many videos uh, talking about what I did with shipping cattle, which is over for the meantime, but not done. We'll get into it. A uh, lot, of, lot of things going on. So, 
Anyway, I'm all over the place. That's scrumptious. Celebrated a birthday. I'm not one of those people that announced my birthday. That's for people with a complex, but I did. Had one uh, Thursday, the 29th of September. Uh, the big 4-6. 46 going on 26. <laughs> that was real good. It was a feel-good day. Made it feel good. Uh, it was a work day. It was a busy day. Every day is. <coughs> but... Uh, I have got no qualms at all about uh, my birthday or turning a year older. In fact, I enjoy the absolute hell out of it. So we got a lot to cover, folks. You're gonna be uh, you're gonna be seeing four or five videos that I've kept back, uh, made in my little uh, my little a wall trip here. Uh, nothing nothing too high and mighty. Um, uh, we're just going to start off with this one for a welcome back. Before I start talking about the corn, you do have a very special treat coming um, from this channel, which is not normal. And that is a, now I have yet to see it, uh, an edited video from uh, four, five, or six videos of drone footage from cutting one of my uh, third crop alfalfa fields. Um, pretty stinking neat. Um, hopefully I'll be sharing that with you sooner than later. Um, I've got somebody else, cause I'm not into that stuff. I don't know what I'm doing. And I just, by God, don't have time. Yes, I said it, I don't have time. I've got somebody else putting it together <coughs> and uh, looking kind of forward to it. Okay. I've stated that harvest season was over as of 2 30 this afternoon. That also includes sweet corn. It's done. I'm pulling the plug. Enough is enough. It's the first week of October. Uh, the corn is starting to get a little, I'm going to say starchy. It's, it's very, very good. Uh, but it's starting to get starchy and, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say about one out of every eight cobs starts to have a little tipworm in it, which is common and normal. Uh, unless you got fancy pants on and you can't believe you got a tipworm in your corn and you call Ben the next day from the corn sale. That's the other reason I'm stopping all my sales. I am not and I cannot deal with... Uh, Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It's time. It's it's time to put this uh, put this to bed. <coughs> uh, the last sale that was had was uh, was Saturday of this past weekend. It went very very well again. Every sale did. I'm very very happy to admit that. Um, but there's still some damn good corn out here, so I put a little little advertisement out there. Uh, I'm, I'm picking for the last time. Come pick your corn up at the farm, which is tomorrow evening. Uh, and I've got about 35 dozen corn to pick. Um, I've been using these totes. I'm going to call them totes. Uh, these actually come from Tractor Supply. Uh, they work very, very well. Now this year with the size of the corn because we're lacking this year. This year it's standard. You fill these up to the brink, just about like there. And it's uh, that's five dozen, five dozen each. Last year was about four dozen. Uh, significant difference this year. But uh, yeah, pretty stinking happy with the sweet corn sales this year. In fact, I'm just gonna let the cat out of the bag right now. Um, we, we've got a lot to cover coming up, folks. Uh, this thing's been ticking. <coughs> Quite extensively. Uh, changes need to come. Period. End of damn story. There needs to be some deletions and additions uh, for this farm to sustain itself. Um, there's a small part of me that's a little bit now, I'm not happy about this year. Um, you know, number one, the drought. And you can't plan for those. 
Some you might say you can, you, you can't. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously the price of everything. Um, I know what I spent extra this year as a smaller farm, smaller operator. It's pathetic. It's disgusting. Damn anybody, anybody that has anything to say. <clears throat> I can't even say the I word, inflation, that says that it's anywhere near okay, good for the economy, or it's really not that bad. It's killing people like me. Whatever the hell that means. What am I? I, I don't know what I am. It's killing me. Now, I'll always be okay. I'm an ignorant, tough son of a bitch. I will always be fine in one way or another because I can get crafty if I have to. Sure don't care to live like that, though. But uh, there's, uh, there's some additions and subtractions coming that we're going to talk about here. I can already see right now multiple, multiple, multiple sit-down live streams here coming up pretty quick when this weather really turns. <coughs> um, rambling on pretty good here, folks. Some of you might say it this corn looks kind of hideous. Damn near looks like maybe it should be cow corn. You're, you are mistaken. You are mistaken. Uh, I think it was, was it Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday of last week, we got what I'm going to call a killing frost. And it did. It killed a lot of stuff. It wiped out It wiped out just about everybody's gardens. Now, it didn't kill the corn, but it hit it pretty good. That's why you're seeing this. Uh, it hit my sorghum pretty good. It did not actually kill it, though. Um, it just browned up the leaves just a little bit. But, um, no, this is still some pretty damn good corn. Uh, everybody's pretty damn happy about it. I'll just uh, let the cat out of the bag. Actually, I was, I was supposed to be saying this a little bit ago. Uh, you know, it's funny. Or maybe it's just me. It's funny as a farmer, producer, whatever the hell you want to call me. Just don't call me an asshole. No, I'm okay with that. It's funny how I almost want to be apologetic for announcing and admitting to you that the sweet corn sales and sweet corn in general this year, even though the crop was, you know, I lost a lot of it. It was a fantastic year. There was actually true profit made. Yes, I know, shame on me. I'm a farmer. I made some profit <laughs> on this sector I did. That's about freaking it. <clears throat> so anyway, I took a really good look at things, and I kind of did a little bit of soul searching in the last week or two here. And then after this past Saturday sweet corn sale again, which we sold out, it was a sellout every Saturday. Every Saturday. Very grateful. Um, I'm here to tell you right now, I'm already looking at some real estate for a second stand to be open in our... I'm going to say our larger town um, to the east of me, which would be Escanaba, Escanaba, Michigan. If I'm not mistaken, Escanaba is shy of 20,000 people, maybe about 15, 18,000. I don't even know, and I don't really care. Um, <clears throat> so I'm already on the hunt for some real estate, making some plans as far as what I'm going to be planting next year. And I'm already in the hunt for finding a trustworthy hard-working ethic individual to manage it not only are you managing that yard and the sales coming in and the cash and money that's coming in which makes me frit already but uh you know you're here at the farm at 8 a.m if not 9 a.m on saturday mornings filling up the back of a pickup truck that's what we do every saturday morning and then head out to sell for, uh, I don't know, anywhere from four to six hours. I'm starting to look at that already. Um, this, this is a venture that did take off. It's become a novelty around here. 
it didn't used to be. Uh, within a 10 mile radius, you could probably find five, six, seven, eight vegetable and uh, sweet corn stands. But I'm um, very proud and happy and honored, grateful that this went pretty good this year. Starting to make plans next year already. So that's really about it, folks. Uh, I'm kind of all over the place here because I don't know where we left off last. And, of course, you haven't gotten the videos that I don't even remember anymore, the four or five that I took in the last two and a half, three weeks. But uh, things are good. Everything's fine. Just need a little break from time to time. gonna lose you here that's a group of heathens right there a group of heathens I had to have a talk with about a few months ago they're just riding around right now no harm no foul they run amok we're not talking next time I can guarantee to you that I'm getting really sick and tired of the trash folks time to take the trash out all right, enough of that bullshit. This is what makes it worth it, right here. I only hope to God that some of you can catch some of this color. I'm pretty sure you can. This is a, uh, <laughs> you know, as a tough guy, I don't, I don't talk like this very often, but. Uh, this is about as beautiful a time of year as you can get right now. Right now, a nice summer day and the first beautiful snowfall. That's what makes it worth it. So, yeah, our colors have uh, just exploded here in the last uh, four, five, six days. It's uh, pretty, uh, pretty fantastic. <coughs> I need to finish up this picking. Get this squared away. I got a couple other things brewing here this evening that uh, <coughs> I need to get completed. And we've got another day tomorrow. Folks, we have a lot of stuff to cover. I'm back now. I'm back now. You can't get rid of me. <laughs> uh, since I've been gone, a lot of things have happened. We'll cover them. Uh, even a, uh, a Prague check. I'm doing three different standings of Prague checks this year. I'll explain to you my regiment. But uh, one of them was performed. The first one was performed uh, actually Thursday on my birthday. And uh, I actually did that on purpose felt real good uh and it turned out okay too and uh i'm gonna save you the rest we're gonna cover it in time to come beautiful time of year harvest is over a little bit of a breathe easy atmosphere now i've uh i've gained a little bit of attitude back a little bit uh we'll just say a little bit of happiness <coughs> well when that happens i make youtube videos so from here on out you're uh you're, uh, you're going to get what I can give you. Truly hope everybody's doing okay. Some of you are pissed off because of me leaving. I understand it. Um, life is good. Sometimes we just need a little bit of a break. <sighs> End of beer. <sighs> That's it, folks. We're going to talk to you sooner and later. <laughs>